Aloha, Dr. Glenn here. So we're continuing on with the heart center, the heart chakra, but now the expressive function. We talked last time about receiving your vision, taking in the entire vision with the breath in the first level, receiving it into the heart as the center of your entire being, feeling your skin, feeling your sensations of kinesthetic of body position and movement and and awareness of of emotional states and how the heart integrates all of those emotions suppressed emotions a common issue with vision is suppressed anger affects the liver it's like a cyst that forms in the spirit body in the liver area and so we need to open that up it's the heart has a non-local function it can open up by directly going there through the, the barrier it's already present through the consciousness and we create a, a super uh, super fluid and super conductive connection that just busts through all those those biological barriers that we create with our stress patterns and avoidance patterns so so we're in the heart receiving the vision the self the heart the not self the outer world that we see becoming one becoming one unified fractal inter interconnected and so the expressive part is the appreciation of that the non-judgment of it when we go into judgment we we focus in a very particular way, and that creates stress, that creates a lack of flexibility and a lack of awareness. As with stress, we tighten down and we start seeing less. We're seeing things already in a certain way. How can I possibly see exactly how things are right now, in this instant, if I already know how they are, if I've already judged it, if I already have decided that's how it is? It's good, it's not good, either way. I'm no longer in real time. I'm now, I'm, I'm reflecting on past fractals in my head. I'm, I'm seeing the past, I'm in memory. I'm, I'm lost to connection with the world. So just like we want the cell to be in connection in real time with other cells to be fully healthy and vibrant, we want our mind, our consciousness, our spirit, our soul to be in full communion with the entire creation, the whole gift that is. So we're seeing it all, receiving it and appreciating. It's like the inhale and the relaxing exhale of appreciation. Rather, And that's how we want to focus. We want to focus on the center of our vision being the heart. It's, it's what we're looking at. It's what we're drawn to. We follow our heart. We're, whatever we're drawn to, whatever we love, we'll be drawn there. Our eyes will be drawn there. Our heart will be drawn there. Our attention will be drawn there. And as long as we are there without judgment, without wanting, without not wanting, without attachment, without judgment of good, bad, right, wrong, if I'm just receiving and appreciating, if I'm in gratitude, attitude, gratitude, right? So being present with the gratitude for what is being received, I see. We say I see, we mean I understand, and we're going to get to that next. But it starts with not judging, but focusing on the heart rather than focusing on trying to see. The harder I look, the more I try to see, it, it strains my eyes, it makes them contract, it reduces circulation through that muscle tension, it allows less of the flow of breath and oxygen. You notice how my chest collapses and I put pressure on my liver and my digestive area. And shutting systems down, we see less. And if I open them back up, boom, there it is. Peripheral vision comes back on. There's little veins that go out of the peripheral part of the retina that when the mu they go along the muscles that move the eyes. So when my, those muscles tighten up and I'm looking at one thing that I'm all focused on, intent upon. Now those muscles are tight and there's less drainage to the periphery and, and more focus is put in the central vision where I'm trying to see what it is I'm trying to get or trying to avoid or trying to control or trying to change, but I have less awareness. And that means I'm losing 
some of the gift of what's being given to me, the awareness of which I can use to effortlessly achieve, to navigate. We're going to talk about that in the fifth, sixth level, to navigate to that goal, to that intention. We're going to learn how to hold the intention through vision, through visualization, to navigate our goals rather than by force through vision. We can see our way there rather than efforting our way there. Much more efficient, much more satisfying.